Hello, it's Richard here, and in this episode we're going to look at electrical work. So in an electric circuit, the energy source, which is a battery or a power supply, makes a current flow. Now charge flows from the energy source and through the rest of the circuit and its components, like lamps or heaters. And the flow of current transfers energy from the energy source to the components. Now for components, uh, the components then transfer their energy to their surroundings. For example, a lamp will admit light to its surroundings or a heater will admit, uh, emit thermal energy. So to recap that, charge flows from an energy source to the rest of the circuit and its components like lamps and heaters. The flow of current transfers uh, energy from uh, energy sources to the components. Now power is the rate of energy transfer to a component. The power of a component is equal to the current through the component multiplied by the potential difference across that component. So it's P um, power equals I the current times V the potential difference. So P equals I times V. Now we know that V equals I times R potential difference equals current times resistance. So power can also be calculated by power equals the current squared times by the resistance. P equals I squared R. Now the total energy transferred to a component is equal to the power multiplied by the time a current flows for. So energy E equals power times time. E equals P times T. Now let's look at an example. So a light bulb has uh, a light bulb is rated at three volts and draws a current of two amps. The bulb is on for ten seconds. How much electrical work is done on the light bulb? So first you need to remember the equation for electrical work done. So remember it's V equals P times T, which is the same as, as uh, e, e equals I times V times T. And that's because work is equal to current times potential difference. So we've got um, energy equals current times voltage times time. So we substitute in the values. So current is 2 amps, voltage is 3 volts, and the time is 10 seconds. So 2 times 3 times 10, which gives us 60 joules. Energy is calculated in joules. And to recap something we looked at earlier, an energy, an electrical circuit is, uh, has the energy source, which is a battery or power supply, and that makes current flow. It provides electrical energy to the bulb and that radiates energy as heat and also as light. Now if we've got the equation power equals current times potential difference, you've got to remember the, the units that each of those things are, uh, each of those, uh, things are in. So first of all, power is measured in joules, current is measured in amps, and volts is measured in, V is measured in volts. Sorry, I said that wrong. So power is measured in watts, current is measured in amps, and volts is measured in, voltage is measured in volts. Now remember, there's another way to think about power, and that is that power equals the current squared times by the resistance. So let's have another look at another example. So a speaker rate is rated at 2 volts and draws current of 3 amps. It's left switched on for 4 seconds. How much electrical work is done to the speaker? So speakers 2 volts, current of 3 amps, and it's left on for 4 seconds. So remember, energy equals power times time, which is the same as current times voltage times time. That's because power equals current times central difference or voltage. So if we substitute in those values, energy equals the current 
3 amps times by the voltage 2 amps times by the time 4 and then if we work that out uh, two, 3 times 2 times 4 is 24 joules that's how much work has been done